Hello everyone, this is Adil Zuberi from Superpower Solutions and today Jean Ginsberg is with me. Jean is uh, founder of Ginball and she's super expert in paid media. Today we are here specifically to talk about Facebook ads and uh, how to target people in a way that they feel that we are targeting an individual, not masses. Uh, we make them feel special and uh, we use a special feature called interest in Facebook. And there's a lot of mystery about interest in Facebook and a lot of people fail in their Facebook ads because they get this wrong. So today we are here with Jean to, to tell us everything about interest, why you should use it, where, why it's important and everything before and after. Thank you, Jean, for coming up today. All yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Adil. Thanks for the introduction. Yes, um, the, um, one of the main things that I have found talking to clients or potential clients about their Facebook advertising is that they are very quick to test it out and then and then they decide to that it wasn't working out for them and then they just decide to stop running Facebook ads. And I've heard that those comments so so many times. And I feel like the and and just you know going in and kind of figuring what the problem was. A lot of times I feel like the issue is that the these clients um, who are advertisers are not targeting their audiences well or correctly. And there is definitely a um, you know a, a science to this. And it's and today we're going to talk about just the interest part. Now I'm going to do a. Um, a series of, uh, of videos about tar Facebook targeting, because there's a lot more to it than just the interest. So, so we're going to talk about that piece of it. But going back to what I was saying about, you know, advertisers doing this wrong. So um, when you're setting up your Facebook campaign um, and you want to do some testing, so the specific thing that we want to talk about today are the interest. So when you're, you know, getting, getting that set up, you know, you want to put in your ads and you want to put in your copy. But when you get to the point about detail targeting and interests, um, we, we want to be very specific. And that's the main thing is that we don't want to be broad. And that's, I think, where a lot of people get this wrong. So for a specific target market, I'm going to use running as an example. So if you are an advertiser and you're trying to target runners, um, you want to be specific on how, what kind of interests you're putting in there. So, for example, people who are famous in the running community. Now, you don't want to go for people like Usain Bolt, who, you know, won the, the you know, the 100 meter uh, Olympics back, you know, a few years ago. So that's very broad. People who might like Usain Bolt, who are not interested in running at all, because, you know, he's kind of a celebrity. So we, we, that's just too broad. We want to use individuals in the running community who are very specific to running and who probably mostly only runners would know about and only runners would like. So for maybe like um, Kara Goucher, or Dean Karnazes, or Ryan Hall. So these are individuals who are, you know, American, U United States known um, runners. And again, probably followed mostly by runners. Another one, which is a good segue, are, are blogs. So you want to find blogs that are very specific to the running community, you know, not just like you know, let's not target running on Facebook because that's, again, too broad. You want to, you know, specific uh, blogs that, that runners, you know, would only read. Um, or periodicals, let's say maybe uh, magazines that runners read, like Runner's World or something like that. Again, very specific to that community. So um, we want to get really granular. Um, again, don't, don't, don't like um, go and, and put in running as your as your a target or interest. So it's just so many people like running, you know, and they could be anywhere from people who don't run and people who might do, you know, ultra marathons. Um, other things you can, you can target would be like maybe half marathons or 5Ks. Again, people who are more likely to be um, interested in those specific things and, you know, just getting really granular to that. So, so yeah, I think that's, um, that's a really you know, good way of getting your Facebook campaign set up. And um, I'm going to do like a short video um, um, outside of this that kind of talks about that. And we're going to do a screen share um, and I'm going to show you how to do that within the Facebook UI. It's just uh, be a little bit more helpful. So, so that's, um, that's interests for your Facebook uh, targeting. We're also going to talk about audience insights in a different video. That's also very important. That's a planning and research tool that Facebook provides for you that you can use um, to, um, you know, to research other interests and other 
um, you know, demographics of your of your audiences. Uh, the easiest way, I mean, this is this is for individuals or advertisers who don't have a very large email list. The easiest way to to get started with Facebook advertising is to take if you have you know a, an email list that's pretty reasonable, you know, se at least several thousand individuals, is to upload that to, into custom audiences and, and create a lookalike audience. That's definitely the easiest way of getting started. But if you don't have that opportunity then the best way to do is to start um, with a very specific interest. Thank you very much for talking to me today. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. So guys, um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, leave us comments on what you would like us to talk about next. And looking forward to hear your views. Do you like, dislike, if you like, thumbs up. Thank you, bye.